Hello there, everybody. My name is LJ Pagan, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now, I uh, completely forgot to record an episode last week, so we're an episode behind, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're back, and we're going to continue from where we left off. Where we, uh, last episode, all we did was uh, kill Kellogg. Killed ourselves on accident, and then we killed Kellogg, which was nice. And, uh, oh yeah, now I have to go talk to our boy, Nick, to tell him about how we murdered that bastard. And, uh, stole his- I actually- I think I looted his body. I hope so, because, uh, part of his brain is, uh, required to continue. And I'm not actually sure if I took that. I'm pretty sure that I could just completely looted everything from his body like I normally do. If I didn't, crap. Because, uh, <laughs> Far from home. Is this a Valentine's Detective Agency radio now? He has a radio? I'm not gonna worry about that. That's probably part of a DLC, maybe. I'm not sure, actually. I've never had that pop up. Even on my... When I used to do play on PlayStation, I never had that pop up, and I had all the DLC. Huh. Weird. Okay. Anyway, let's go talk to Mr. Nicholas Valentine. Nick, where's your son? What happened? Good question. Ah, uh, you were right. You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Bruh. Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. What do you mean, Piper? You were there. That makes things considerably more complicated. Yeah. He ain't kidding. Heck, he's the synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Uh, uh, I need a, uh, I need a way. I need to find a way. Oops. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. There you because go. The Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But <laughs> to this Nick. day, there's one thing nobody really knows. And that's where they are. Where the Institute actually it's is. It's right underneath the college. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Uh, he's kind of dead. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Yes. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Yeah. Uh, I'd do it again. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. Piper didn't like that. Oh well. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a vault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Ah, yes. We live the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Good idea. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? <laughs> we got no brain. Lead, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I already have something. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. 
Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I want to take Piper. Piper is going to stay with us the whole playthrough. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Level on more steps. I'm going to take Piper everywhere. Fight me on it. What should we go with? How about... Yes. Alright. We need to make our way to Good Neighbor. Uh, see, we're only 60 steps away. What is this? Ghouls. Uh, I just realized we didn't buy ammo. Oh no! Ah, uh, we should be fine. Teeth. Toothbrush. Don't ask why I'm grabbing that stuff. I just kind of am. Let's go around this way. Oh, great, a dog. <laughs> Wonderful. Ouch. <laughs> Ow. Ah! Oh, no. Ha! Ha ha I started my Spotify in an accident. Ha 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 Oops. Welcome to Good Neighbor. Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? Yeah. You can't go walking around without insurance. Back off. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. You want an accident? Hold up. Hold on. No, Hancock, Hancock, Hancock. I got this. I got this. What's up? <laughs> I like you already. Thank you. Walk into a new place, make a show of dominance. Nice. Yes. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? I feel Everyone's you. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, or you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. You are. Thank you, Hancock. My ghoul. Also, I know the vault tech guy is, uh, in the hotel as well. We might get him uh, during the next episode. Like, while we're leaving vault -Tec, just send him uh, vault -Tec. Oh my god. While we're leaving Good Neighbors, send him down to the Sanctuary. Just to do it. So we, uh, had that little thing done. Well, well. Nikki. Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Oh! Hmm. Amari's downstairs. You sit for breakfast. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Oh my, Nikki boy. That's a little sus. Hello! Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Thanks for the resources ahead of time, lady. We're just gonna kinda steal all this stuff right in front of her. And uh, she won't say anything, because it'd be rude to tell her to stop. Kellogg's brain. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. 
Please. I know it's yes. asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory stimulators require intact, living brains to function. Uh, please help us. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes. Here's what I could find. <laughs> he tried to smile, What's this? but he can't this isn't a because he's so this ugly. Isn't... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Uh, 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 go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, a brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Yeah. Uh, 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 thanks, Nick. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> let's see here. Piper. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Yeah. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. You might start static talking I, and sounding I can't make sense of like Kellogg, Chief. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Oh. Uh, is there a way to break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed that you don't die. See you on the other side. Please stand by. What are you looking at? Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Hmm. Oh no, here we go. We're in Kellogg's dirty little brain. We're That's just gonna like can find. force our way through. Dad was either drunk oh, oops. or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gang. I never really this knew doesn't what he seem did. To be what they're looking for. Nope. Don't know why mom was with him. There appears to be Don't another hey, intact memory close to you in Mary. temporal sequence. There. Let's just keep Let's going. Keep I'll connect you to the next intact memory. I like how they try to make neurons, but they're like so po polygonal. It's it just looks bad. How did you think Kellogg. this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> I found another you memory. thought you could just fuck I'll with us? It. Yes. And we wouldn't fuck with you? No. Because Kellogg is, uh, not cool. Which one even is Kellogg? Is he that Kellogg? Me. Yeah. Sit down. He doesn't look Sit the same yourself. with hair. It's weird. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. This is when he contacted the institute. Mr. Kellogg. Yeah, you there you me. go. When he went bald. So, you're getting warmer. 
One of these has got to tell us something. Keep We're on going. Ah. ah, there's one that looks Thank mostly intact. Right. Connecting now. Oh. Hey, look, it's my stable. ugly self. That's good. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood so that kind of revenge. Bad. No one better. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Okay, Boomer. I found I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, whenever you're ready. Now we just have to kind of sit here and watch this play out. Wait. It's talking about Piper. Even though Kellogg. It's okay. This radio is a paradox. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Virgil. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Yes. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing be, sea. Be quiet. It's his file. I'm standing on top of my son. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. The button's not there. Would you there. be to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. I'll go with okay. you. Come on. Let's get this over with. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Yeah, you're gonna be the one in control of him. Bye. Kellogg looks sad. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute. Because there is no entrance. He's still there, just invisible. Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. Yes, take me. Take me. Thank you. Side effects the procedure might have had. Where's that radio playing from? Done this before. How do you feel? Excellent. Is that one worth reading? Where's that radio playing from? Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? Uh, fine. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long term damage. Are you. Ready to talk about what happened in there? Teleportation. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? Uh, Virgil. That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. I'll find him. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way... I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. 
removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. He's gonna sound like Kellogg first. And I think that's the this is the only the, that's the only instance he actually sounds like it's Kellogg talking to him. To Kellogg talking to you and not Nick. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Sarcastic. You wanna try for round two? Let's go! What? What are you talking about? Sarcastic. Wait. Were you just playing a joke on me? Guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Wait. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City. Yeah, go back to Diamond City, kid. Already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. And I'll never come get you until DLC. DLC time. So, goodbye, Nicholas Valentino. Uh. Alright, so now we need to go all the way out here to Virgil. But we're going to go collect our power armor. And this is probably also going to be a little bit shorter of an episode. Because I just really wanted to do the memory den. Because getting to the glowing sea and talking to Virgil will probably take like... Another hour because I ha uh, of how far we have to walk. Power armor is nice and shiny. If anything, we'll uh, get to the edge of the glowing sea, and then from there we will uh, end the episode. I think that's what we'll do. So let's fast travel to Diamond City and uh, make our way to the edge of the glowing sea. Once we get there, I'll end the episode there. And then the next episode, we'll be talking to Virgil. And uh, I think after that, you go to the you can go talk to the railroad so you can uh, figure out how the heck you're going to make the teleporter. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I said the city, not the market. What the heck, Fallout? Come on. Get with the program. All right. Now let's. We only have two fusion cores. That's not optimal, but we're just gonna go with it. Hey, something. Did I miss? Okay, they are very likey. The energy. Oh. Best thing. Power energy. Yeah, let's go. Die, you stupid die. Why don't we just use righteous authority? Forehead. It's stronger. Alrighty. Let's keep going. We gotta get there by the end of uh, the next 10 minutes. two extra cores right now. I think it'll be enough to get us through the glowing sea. Maybe. If not, we'll be walking very slow out there. We're gonna want to hit this fast travel point too, because if anything, in between episodes, I will, um, fast travel and uh, buy more fusion cores somewhere. 
I think you can buy something good, neighbor. And when I do that, I'll just go and talk to the vault tech guy. Because I completely forgot to do that when we left, good neighbor. So, yeah. How much further we got? We're almost there. Ah, safe. My aim is garbage right now. I'm out of ammo. Shock baton. Goodbye. Give me the ammo. Killed some people. That's kind of rude, not gonna lie. Alright. I don't think we can jump this. Dang it. I got one coil left. Crap. After this one, I'll hit this Trinity Tower. WR here. I'm completely wrong. Trinity Tower. Oh my. Alright. I think we got like another two minutes of running. Oh no! Not a rad. Okay, you know what? Yeah, Piper, you deal with the rad scorpion. I'll just keep going this way. You'll eventually uh, teleport to me. There's a death claw in this area. I feel like I remember there being a death claw here. And, uh, I'd rather not deal with a death claw. I don't. Oh, very anxious the brother is still. You know what? We're just gonna keep going. Because I know for a fact there's a death claw out here. I've killed it so many times coming out to the uh, glowing sea when I do my playthroughs. I'm positive there's a death claw around here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the edge of the glowing sea. Basically, it's the crater. That's all this really is, is the crater. So yeah, that is going to do that for this episode. I know it's a little bit uh, shorter, but, you know, can't always control that. You know, what I well, I can, but, you know, there's just certain things I want to get done in an episode, and I get them done early, and I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. So yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I just lost some frames. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you if you want to see more Fallout 4, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you're new to the channel or you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button as well. And make sure to turn on post notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye